हे फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑल अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बीन गिवन द टू वेरिएबल बुलियन फंक्शन एंड दिस फंक्शन कैन बी गिवन एज फॉलोज सो हियर वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स ऑफ द एक्स एंड वाई वेरिएबल्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल सो हियर वी हैव बीन आस्ट टू फाइंड द मिनिमम रिक्वायर्ड कॉस्ट फॉर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस फंक्शन यूजिंग द टू इनपुट नॉर गेट एज वेल एज द ऑर गेट एंड हियर द कॉस्ट ऑफ नॉर गेट as well as the two input or gate is of one unit that means here we have been asked to find the minimum required cost for implementing this function using only nor gate as well as the or gate so let us find that so here we have been given that this function is equal to 1 for the three input combinations and whenever this x is 1 and y is 0 at that time the output of the function is equal to 0 So if we see the same thing in the truth table, then this is how it will look like. So from the truth table, we can say that this f is equal to this x bar dot y bar plus x bar dot y plus x dot y, and we can say that this f bar is equal to x dot y bar because for this input combination, this f is equal to zero. So if we take the complement of it. then we can say that this f double bar is equal to this x dot y bar whole bar and that is equal to f that means the f is equal to this x bar plus y that means the given function is equal to x bar plus y and we need to implement this function using only or gate and the nor gate so here this is how it can be implemented so here what we will do we will apply the x input to the nor gate that means the output of this first nor gate will be equal to x bar so this output of the nor gate will be one of the input to the or gate and the second input to the or gate will be equal to y that means now the output of this or gate is equal to x bar plus y and in this way using one nor gate and the one or gate it is possible to implement this function so we can say that for implementing this function we require one or gate and the one nor gate and in this way the total required cost of implementing this function is equal to two units so from this we can say that for the given question this d is the correct answer